Our world is made of code. Almost everything around us is programmed. Our phones, computers, TVs, video games, watches, clocks, cars, and all of our other gizmos and gadgets. We are absolutely surrounded by code. But the funny thing is, almost nobody knows how to program. So that's why I decided to learn. I took online courses at conacademy.org. Why are we at the park? I thought this was your idea. Uh, we are at the park because it demonstrates the fact that you can code from anywhere. You can code on the go, from your home, or at the office, at the beach. I mean, you can literally code anywhere. Anyways, back to my project. So after I learned how to code, I decided to put my skills to work, and I recreated the classic Atari game Pong. So before I show you my game, I want to show you what it's like to code on Khan Academy so you can get an idea of what I did when I was creating my game. Right now, I'm actually on Khan Academy. Over here on the left side is where I write my code, and on the right side, I can see what I've created. Every project starts out blank like this, so I'm going to go ahead and put in some code. Text. And it shows up on the screen. So let's take a closer look at what I wrote. I wrote text to tell the computer I'm about to give it a message. And that message is, Mr. Bowers is the best. Because he is. I also gave it two coordinate points, 100 and 200. The screen over here is actually a grid going 400 across and 400 down. So I told it to put it at 100 over and 200 down. So now hopefully you can kind of get an idea of what it's like to code on Khan Academy. You write the code over here, and it shows up over here. So now that you understand how coding works on Khan Academy, I'm going to show you my final project. Here is my game. If you take a look at the left side over here, you'll see the option to change the username. I'm going to do that right now. It changes over here on the screen. You also have the option to change the score limit. Right now it's set to 4, and that's what it will be set at later when I play my sister. But at the moment, I'm going to change it to 2. By scrolling down, you can see all the code that goes into the game, and there's a lot. Almost 300 lines in total. It maxes out at 276. Now, going back to the game, you move the right paddle by pressing up and down keys on the keyboard. You move the left paddle by moving the mouse. Wherever the mouse is, that's where the paddle will be. Across the bottom of the screen, you'll see it says press enter to start. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. When I hit enter, the ball starts to move. When someone scores, gold pops up on the screen, and that person gets a point. When someone wins, gold pops up on the screen again, followed by their name wins. This also scrolls across the bottom of the screen. I'm now given the option to press Alt to restart. When I do that, it sets the game back to how it was at the beginning, so you can play another match. This is my game. So I have my fabulous sister Katie here with me today, and she is going to play against me in my game. And we are going to be playing for the last lemon cake. So winner gets it, loser gets the watch in acne. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Are you ready? <laughs> I think she is. What? No! So, as you saw, Katie was up 3 1 when I accidentally hit, um, I accidentally hit reset. So we're gonna we're gonna try that again. I've set Kitty's score to three and I've set mine to one. So same thing as before. We're just gonna resume it as it was. Let's give it a try. And I'm gonna keep on beating you. <laughs> count that we definitely can't <laughs> i win oh. i'm really happy right now <laughs> no we're not counting that <laughs> why because so i won and i get to eat the last lemon bite and you have to watch <laughs> it's really good yeah i bet it is <laughs> So the fact that I lost the game was pretty pathetic, considering that I had rigged it to give myself a major advantage. 
I made it so that when I pressed the left arrow key, it would give myself a point. And that's actually what happened when I accidentally reset the game. I went to press the left key and I missed and I hit the reset button. I also set it up so that she couldn't score on me below my paddle. She had to score above it. And this actually happened a few times. I was surprised that she, she didn't see it. Anyways, now that I know the fundamentals of programming, I can apply this to tons of other things like web pages or maybe even an iPhone app. Who knows, the possibilities are endless. Huge thanks to my sister Katie for all of her help filming. And another huge thanks to Khan Academy for their awesome programming course. It was totally free. If you want to sign up, there's a link in the description down below. If you click it, then I'll say that I referred you. Also, if you want to play the game I made, there's another link in the description down below. Thanks for watching.